get this jig put on the chainsaw bar here. I'm going to set it kind of close to the chainsaw just because if you set the jig way up here, you're only going to be able to uh, pivot this much of your side down in, so you're not going to be able to cut all the way down. So I want this is a pretty big log. I want to be able to make it through in one cut, so I'm going to put the jig pretty close back to the chainsaw. Looks like I got it pretty well centered there. Plenty of clearance, the chain's not going to hit. Clamp. Tighten up here. By tightening in the center of your bar, you're not going to pinch the channels where your chain runs or anything like that. You don't need to worry about it. So you want to make sure this clamp is as tight as you can possibly get it so it doesn't move around when you're milling. Got it pretty tight on there. So that'll just sit on there. And then we'll start at the end. I'll be able to pivot the sod down in. I'm just going to turn this in and adjust it for the uh, depth or the width that I want to cut the slab off the side. And then we'll get the saw started up and see how it works. Alright, now to adjust the saw closer to the jig, I'm just going to spin the jig instead of spinning the saw. I do have lines marked out on the top of the log here. I am I'm milling it a foot wide, hopefully. And I've got my 2x4 centered in the middle, screwed down. So I just gotta adjust the jig over until my chainsaw bar lines up with the uh, line that I've made on the top of the log. Still got a little ways to go. And that's one nice thing about using all thread instead of just a steel bar because you can adjust it like this. Check that. Oh, looks like about a half inch yet. Alright, that looks like it's going to work. I have my chains uh, set so that the inside of the bar is just on the outside of my line. So that'll leave me with a full 12 inches. If you put your chain in the dead center of your mark for 12 inches, the kerf that your saw cuts, you're actually going to be losing wood. So always make your cuts on the outside edge of your line. Alright, we'll get our saw filled up here. One nice thing about these Poolin Pros is they've got your chainsaw wrench storage right here in the handle. One thing you're always going to want to do before you add gas to your chainsaw is shake your can because the oil will separate out of the gas. It's
So here's the log I've been milling. Uh, I didn't get it finished. Uh, it's actually all the way through in some parts, but the saw kept slipping inside of the clamp and I didn't want to wreck my chain so I stopped to weld on a second clamp and we're supposed to get uh, six or eight inches of snow starting at midnight tonight so I have to cover this over with the tarp for a couple days till it melts because it is March so the snow won't last long so we'll get this uh, other clamp Line up and weld it on here. And then uh, got a small piece of flat stock. Put it on there, just like the other one. I think I'm going to leave this for now, just because this is the second clamp. Hopefully, with the two clamps, I won't have any issues with it moving around. Alright, let's get to welding. Yeah. 